Three, two, one. Oh, excited, excited, excited. I'm inside Daisy. That's why I'm excited. I'm not excited about doing a beer review. Of course I am. Um, I, Rob's World of Beers, I wish I need to consult with them, see if I can't get a list of beers that come in and stuff, because I did a spicy mango cart last week and I ordered it offline. Um, they've got that line of beer at Rob's and they don't have the spicy mango, but they did. Hold on a second. Oh, wow. <laughs> they did have a, just a mango cart. I did not like the spice with the mango. I mean, it was okay, but just not my cup of tea. It was still a good beer, but would I probably purchase it again? Probably not. Um, but this is just straight mango so let's see and they have like a pineapple card they have a couple other uh the golden road but th this uh today's beer is let's start this show hold on let's start the show off right if you're gonna drink don't drive if you're gonna drive don't drink 22 veterans id to ptsd suicide and i believe this is second to the last day to ptd june is ptsd awareness month if you know someone suffering from PTSD or a veteran that may be just a loner and you haven't heard from a while, reach out to them. Acknowledge that individual somehow. I mean, take them out to lunch, coffee, Instagram, instant message, Facebook, whatever. Acknowledge that that person's existence, that, that acknowledgement could save that person's life and make a world of difference. It could bring them up out of their, out of their funk that they're, they're going through. All right, the beer that I got today, I was kind of excited because I just accidentally stumbled across this. Once again, when I come, when I'm looking for beers, I'm not necessarily looking for an IPA uh, uh, or a stout or whatever. I, what catches my eye with craft beers is how they label it. And uh, this one caught my eye. All right, this one is Iron Monk Stilly Wheat. It is, oh, it's a Belgian style uh, wheat ale. And here is, let's critique the, the can. Okay, you got Iron Monk. And look, that's uh, that's the state of Oklahoma upside down, well, or sideways, however you want to call it. Brewed and canned by Iron Monk Distillery, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Now, for me, living in Wichita, Kansas, Stillwater is, you know, like maybe a two hour drive, two and a half hour drive, you know. Um, also the home of Oklahoma State University. Uh, go Cowboys, I guess, if you're a Cowboys fan. It's where uh, Barry Sanders went to college. You know, good old Barry Sanders. Um, what else about that? Oh, uh, a kind of a famous restaurant, I feel, uh, Eskimo Joe's. When I was a little kid, I remember seeing everyone had these Eskimo Joe shirts, man. You couldn't go a day without probably seeing someone wandering around out in town with Eskimo Joe shirts. <clears throat> All right. I love the can. Okay, you're representing, you know, you're representing your state. And the one of the, the co-founders, is his last name is Monk. So he puts Iron Monk, which is pretty cool. And, uh... They just it's it's a it's actually a vinyl wrap too, but um, I like it. Um, and uh, you know, Oklahoma State. Uh, this brewery is kind of a newer one. Two thousand fourteen is when Gerald Jared Milrons and Dave Monk came together. Um, both had a passion for beer, and that seems to be that seems to be a typical craft beer story. Two guys love a beer. They just get together and start start a company, so to say. But these guys apparently have 30 years combined uh, craft beer experience. And um, these guys, uh, Jared has a master's degree from Oklahoma State and uh, Dave Monk has uh, two PhDs. So you have two people, very creative, 
um, going to business together because they have a passion and love for something. And uh, actually, Dave Monk, uh, apparently I've read in a thing on their, um, in the internet, um, he likes to draw and he's been known to make up some of the artwork for their, their distillery or their brewery, I'm sorry, distillery. Well, they could be making whiskey hell. Not much, I mean, there's a fine line between distilling and brewery. Um, 2015, Iron Monk, uh, tap room opened, um, and uh, they started, they, they have a pretty, they have, a, they have about 10 beers, I think, is what I look. Um, this is 4.5% alcohol by volume. <laughs> Uh, 12 IBUs. So let's get on with this. Gee, many Christmas. I'm telling you too much of the story, but I love breweries with a little bit of story. I like to help you. I like to help you get a little knowledgeable with what you're drinking. Maybe, you know, maybe the story that, that's behind it helps make you decide to drink the beer. I don't know. I love stories, and that's why I'm sharing sharing their history with you or what I could find. Some, some, some breweries I can't. So. All right, here we should do, I, I've been watching this one guy and I, once again, I'm not, not using the proper glassware just with my stepdaughter getting here, Beer King. Um, yeah, it's got a, you know, it's got that, it's, it's, it's a Belgian wheat ale. It's got, you know, nice golden flavor. It's got a great head on it. I'm going to give the color, I'm going to give it a 4.0. The head, I don't know, it's, it's diminishing a little bit, even though I shook it up a little bit and I didn't pour the whole thing in there. Um, I'm going to give the head a 3.5. So let's get on. It's hits me right out of the gate very lemony um kind of a, like a lemony like grassy uh smell believe it or not maybe that's the wheat that I, i'm smelling in there a little bit of the barley it's got a kind of like a candy candy like uh smell in a way Maybe like a lemon drop or something. Um, let's go ahead and see what she tastes like. It's light. It's got a nice refreshing taste. Um, I think, you know, when you got the Belgian style wheat ale, you know, Blue Moon, you know, they did theirs with orange peels. These guys obviously use lemons. I think the lemon uh, puts a nice balance with the Belgian style uh, wheat ale. It's a, it's I would say it's a summertime go-to. I would um, I kick back at a picnic and have a few of these, you know. And it's light enough. It's at four point five percent alcohol by volume, which isn't too high. Um, you know, it's not going to sit and get you hammered right out of the gate. You can just sit here and sip on them. Have some ribs, have some hot dogs, whatever you're grilling. Um, I like it. Um, I like the product that Iron Monk out of Stillwater, Oklahoma has produced. So, let's say you're at the Iron Monk at the tap room. There's this crazy marine guy. He's got a patch on his eye. Okay, I call it Casey Patch because his name's Casey Patch. And he goes, arr, 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 arr. how about I challenge you to a drink off? I can out drink it. So what's, what's happening here is you want, you need to know whether or not you can get this down before he gets it down. And um, so I'm going to do the work for you. All right. Just remember, I'm driving this truck down the road, hopefully get you to a destination that you're going to enjoy. Hopefully it's this Belgian wheat ale. And uh, let's pour the rest of the beer here and see what kind of chuggability we have. On the taste, I'm going to give that taste a 4.5. It's really a good beer, I feel. I mean, like I said, it's 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 nothing shy of a go-to beer for, you know, out in the, the heat like it is right now. Um, 
I feel you can drink this at a picnic, at a ball game, whatever. Friends and family over, you name it. All right, here we go. Hey, I like to, this is part of the, my show, I like to pay tribute to the men and women who's served our country and sacrificed it all. Without their sacrifice, we wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to be here to enjoy these freaking awesome beers. And of course, Merca, Grunt Style, Gunny, Gunny's uh, Whiskey, I guess, for certain. I'm sorry, first sergeant. And I should I should know his name because he's on Facebook running rampant. But here's to our fallen, America, especially with Fourth of July coming up, and of course always chesty pull wherever you are. Whew. Damn cameraman! All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching another episode of Be Rads. And I'm kind of picking up from yesterday. I know I was to that point where I was going to uh, give tr pay tribute to our fallen. And uh, this is just finishing that video out. I know it's going to, I'm wearing different clothes. If anyone ever pays attention to that. But thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Please hit subscribe, like button, and share the shit out of this simple motherfucking fire.